The power to stand comes from spirit-empowered prayer. The power to stand for the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, comes from spirit-empowered prayer. Now watch how many times in these verses, Paul's reminding Christians, you ought to pray. Let's go back in. Pray, one, in the spirit at all times, on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere and pray for me too. My question to you is how often are we in prayer for other believers and followers of Jesus Christ to stand in the name of Jesus Christ? If we look at our prayer list, I'll be honest, I don't know how much even I do. I'm convicted by this message that I ought to pray more for you to live into this power to stand for Jesus in your workplace and in your neighborhood and in your schools. I need to do that more for you because we are a church family and we need brothers and sisters in Christ who are lifting up spirit-empowered prayers before the throne room of God. I love what the Acts commentary says on this. It says, once restored, he, referring back to Peter who stood up, Peter gave himself to prayer in anticipation of the promised blessing of the fullness of the Spirit. Once that came to him, he was irrepressible. And God used him as the, let's just say the, the human instrument to usher in the great era of the church. This pattern has been repeated over and over in the history of the church and is still awaiting repetition. Whew. What does it look like for you and I to pray, 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 praying for each other, spirit-empowered prayers to pray for each other that you and I can stand for the name of Jesus. Jesus. 